Christian, what is in your house must honor God, we come to warn you again of a very urgent fact, this publication should not have been made today but because of the will of God we were obliged to make this post, this message is for the stripped sisters and brothers who have decided to follow Jesus Christ but who keep the instruments of Jezebel and the tools of Satan in their homes, do you know that if you have an instrument of the devil in your house you can miss heaven? Do you know that your house represents the state of your soul? Do you know that your house can belong to Satan yet you pray every day? Do you know that demons are at home in your house when the instruments of Lucifer are in your home? Do you know that Satan accuses you day and night before God because you chase him but you have his things? Do you know that God's protection is zero on your house and on you when you have what is Satan's? Deuteronomy 7:26. You will not bring an abominable thing into your house, so that you will not be like this thing, devoted by prohibition you will have it in horror, you will have it in abomination because it is a thing devoted by prohibition. Beloved, the verse above calls on us not to enter anything that God has forbidden for fear that you will resemble this thing yourself, we have talked for a long time about what does not honor God but many do not believe, many justify themselves. However Satan he is not joking when he accuses you, listen you Christians who still keep the instruments of Jezebel, the Bible is against jewelry because they are foreign gods Genesis 28 verse 2 to 4, God forbid lipsticks and all other lip paints, God is against false nails, false hair, varnish and false eyelashes, foundation, mascara and all makeup tools, God is against wearing pants for women. If you are a Christian you still keep one of his things know that Satan accuses you day and night, when you pray Satan claims your soul because you chase him away but you still keep what is his, you must first make restitution before saying God protect me, even if you don't wear a wig anymore and it's in your house in your room in your suitcase, that means you're still wearing that you need to repent before it's too late. The same for you women who keep the pants at home you don't wear but why do you keep them? Don't give this to anyone because it encourages rebellion, you have to throw it away or burn it to prove to God that you have changed, nothing impure should enter your house, why do you still keep these makeups, these pants which expose your curves, as long as it is in your house you will want to wear this because these things will seduce you so that you wear them, because of the multitude of demons attached to it. That is why we invite you to get rid of these things, as long as it is in your home God is angry with your house and he cannot love your house because it is devoted by prohibition, 2 Timothy 2:19. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord, let him depart from iniquity, if you want the blood of Jesus Christ to protect you and your house, get rid of sin because the blood of Jesus Christ does not protect the things of Jezebel. If these things are in your house when you invoke the blood it will be null because Satan will accuse you and say before God, you protect him but he keeps my things with him, God will therefore be obliged to deliver you, you Christians who keep pornographic films, films of the world, condoms and objects of masturbation, bottles of alcohol and stolen things, music of the world and things of the world, like fashion clothes, torn pants and gold watches, jewelry and chains etc. Since many are unbelieving I thank God that he reveals each of these things for our edification during a visit to hell here is what I saw, I was with the Lord Jesus Christ in hell. Suddenly he said, there is an emergency, we are going to arrive somewhere in the air, in an incredible speed we were in the skies, I saw on earth a Christian praying and the fire surrounded his house, so that the multitude of demons who were outside could not enter his house. This Christian was on his knees and praying, I saw the devil who thought he went up to heaven where the Lord and I were he went far away, we were in front of the Father's throne, and I saw a great light. I only saw his feet, his body was shining so much, Satan from afar said to the Father, Father Creator, you protect one of your children yet he has what is mine in his house, so let me enter his house, and I will take what is mine. It was clear that Satan was lying because he wanted to kill this Christian, God said go and take what belong to you, I immediately saw Jesus Christ throw himself down and prostrate himself before the Father and he said, Father remember that I also died for this one, have pity on him, certainly he will repent next time, the Father said to Satan, go but don't kill him, Satan descended immediately, I saw the Christian's house and he was praying in the living room. 
but in his bedroom he kept a piece of jewelry that his ex-girlfriend had given him as a gift, the item looked like a GPS, a red light came on and went off, it looked like a location signal in this Christian suitcase, immediately the fire that covered this house went down and Satan entered the house with his demons. He immediately started giving bad thoughts to this Christian and finally he extinguished his prayer life, this Christian became cold, Jesus Christ tells me, what you have just seen is what I do it every day for several Christians, I intercede for them, Satan accuses you Christian every day, tell my people to get rid of the things of the world and destroy this, because very soon for many it will s be too late. End of testimony Certainly you noticed that I am talking about one of my experiences of hell or heaven, it is because I saw hell and heaven for 40 days and if I tell you that something leads to hell it is because I saw it there. Believe it or not it's the truth, beloved do you know how often we are accused when we sin against God, how many times do you call yourself a Christian but you have Satan's instruments at home? How can you chase away Satan in this condition? What if you die and it's too late? 1 John 2 verse 1, My little children I am writing to you so that you do not sin and if anyone has sinned we have an advocate with the righteous Father Jesus Christ. Beloved I saw the fulfillment of the verse above, Jesus Christ will intercede for you while you are alive, also sanctify your houses and what is there, watch over this entirely because your enemies do not sleep, instructions and recommendations of the Lord Jesus Christ take off your ornaments making you prostitutes of the world, get rid of everything that belongs to Satan and let me live in your houses, clean your house because I visit you every day and these things chase me away, Deuteronomy 23 14 for the Lord your God walks in the midst of your camps to protect you and to deliver your enemies before you, your camp, your house must therefore be holy so that the Lord sees nothing impure in you and so that he does not turns away from you, do you see? The Lord gave me this message and the Bible confirms it, therefore know that you lose the protection of God when you have on you what is devoted by forbidden, God no longer protects you, you who have cigarettes at home, the wine the thong the destroys and the drugs, you must repent because it is to you that the Lord is certainly speaking. He will no longer intercede for you so be wise so that your soul is saved, according to Exodus 12 colon 12 it is the devastator who will visit you at night when you go to bed. For the true children of God Jesus Christ is their protection Proverbs 3 24 if you lie down you will be without fear and when you lie down your sleep will be sweet Psalms 91 to 1 he who dwells under the shelter of the most high rests in the shadow of the almighty conclusion dear Christians, the forbidden things that are in your home show that you are hypocrite, you chase away Satan but you keep him in your home this proves your belonging to demons you must therefore be sanctified body soul spirit and even your objects must be holy Proverbs 3 to 9 honor the Lord with your goods. God asks you to praise him with what is yours you cannot praise God while your television worships Satan published by your brother Nestor Blinger the prisoner and slave of the king of kings his excellency Jesus Christ thank you for sharing to warn the ignorant shalom.